Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video in the Java series. This episode, I'm going to show you how to use exceptions with your Lambda expressions. And now, I'm glad I didn't know the way it all would end, the way it all would go. Okay guys, so we actually know how to do a lot with Lambda expressions now, so let's move on to something else, which is actually using exceptions with our Lambda expressions. It's pretty cool, you'll see what I mean. So basically, um, we can uh, make a custom you know, exception, of course, or use one that's already made, I guess. But basically, we can make a custom exception and then hook it to our um, functional interface in our Lambda expression so that we can um, throw that exception whenever something bad happens. So uh, yeah, it's a little hard to explain, so I'll just show you. So let's just go ahead and create a interface like we would normally do. Okay, we're just gonna call it numbers function for a functional interface. And let's make a method here that returns an integer. We'll call it function for like the function of the functional interface. And then we'll give it a parameter of an integer array. And then we call it array. And then that's that. So basically we're just gonna make a um, implementation for this that makes um, or it takes an array of integers and then it finds the highest number so we can go ahead and do that so let's do that so we'll do um, numbers function and we'll call it highest number or just highest num for short and then we'll make the thing here a okay and then um, from there we could do something like this uh, int highest number is equal to one okay and then four int i is equal to zero i is less than a dot length i plus plus so basically this is just going to cycle through every uh, index in that array and then while, while it does that it's going to say if um, a or the one it's the number it's looking at is higher than the highest number then set the highest number equal to that number because it's going to be higher so set it to that highest number anyway so um, and then after it's done doing that we can just go ahead and return the highest number and there we go okay let's add a semicolon so that works okay let's just test it out real quick but first we need a an actual array to test it on of course so int oh my gosh i cannot type int numbers is equal to and we'll add some numbers like 1 5 2 60 2000 11 54 and 2 just random numbers okay and then we're going to test it out. So we'll do output um, highest number dot function, and then we'll put numbers inside of there. And let's see what happens. Hopefully, it should print out 2,000 because that's the highest number. And it does. Awesome. It works. Pretty simple, right? So we already know how to do all of this anyway. This is just a simple lambda expression um, that hooks into this functional interface here. But let's say, for example, we want to have an exception that is thrown whenever the um, the person gives an array that is empty. Okay. So just something like that, for example, okay? So let's just go ahead and create an empty array here. So int numbers2 is equal to that, okay? So then we'll just use numbers2 here. And let's see what happens whenever we do that. Okay, so we just get 1 because highest number is equal to 1. But let's make it so an exception is thrown whenever they provide an empty array, okay? So we can do that. Um, well, let's just make our exception here. So we'll do class. Uh, empty array uh, exception and if you don't know how to make an exception just go ahead and watch um, a couple maybe like 20 videos back maybe 10 videos back um, I made some videos on how to work with exceptions so make sure you check those out if you don't know what this is so exception and then we can create the constructor for the exception boom oops okay so when the exception happens this will be printed out array is empty okay so that's pretty simple, right? Um, hopefully you, un you understand how to do this. Um, so let's say, um, how do we hook it into our functional interface, right? Well, we can do that by simply doing right here. We can do throws, ar empty array exception, okay? So now this uh, abstract method here has the capability of throwing this exception, okay? So let's actually, um, let's try running this and see what happens. Okay, and we get an error because we never actually use um, well, actually, no, it's because we didn't handle the exception, okay? Because so we have to handle the exception. Of course, we could use a try and catch statement here, but the easiest way is just to do throws empty array exception to our main method. So that basically is just going to catch it automatically. 
Okay, let's see what happens. So it still says one, okay? But we're still providing an empty array. So it doesn't know that you know, it needs to throw the exception, right? So if we want to make it so it can throw the exception whenever the array is empty, we can do something like this, where we have a simple if statement. Oops, not that. Whatever the hell that is. If, um, let's see here. Uh, if a dot length is equal to zero, so that means the array is empty, then you could throw new empty array exception, okay? And that's what exactly what that'll do. It'll throw the exception. And then if it isn't empty, then you do it else, and then you can run the rest of the code. Okay? So basically what this will do is whenever you run this uh this basically this lambda expression here, it's gonna check and see if the method or the array you provide is empty. If it is empty, it'll throw the exception and then cancel the rest of this. And then if it's not empty, it'll just run all of this and we're good to go and it'll give us the highest number and all that fun stuff, okay? So yeah, that's that. So let's actually try this out. It should throw the exception now. And yeah, we get an exception here. It says array is empty, just like we told it to, right? That's pretty cool. And uh, so let's actually change it so it shows the um, the one that's filled up so we can make sure that still works. Okay. And boom, it says 2000 still. So that still works, and that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, this was a pretty simple episode, I know. But basically what we did is we made a simple functional interface. We made a custom exception, and then we hooked that um, exception into our functional interface so that means that our lambda expressions will be able to have the capabilities of throwing this exception here and then we did that here so whenever the array is empty we throw the exception and uh, yeah so yeah it's pretty simple but if you have any questions at all just leave a comment and I'll help you don't be afraid to also we have a discord in the description where you can join it hang out with us whatever you want to do so make sure you do that also we have a link here for all of the code from today's episode so make sure you check it out bookmark it for future reference and all that fun stuff and uh, yeah, so if you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.